All right, let's get up to Washington, D.C. and a revealing week on the national political scale as we bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein joining us once again. And Rick, this ABC News poll that came out juxtaposing Biden and Trump, quite revealing, many say uh, quite surprising. What does it show uh, as the electorate stands right now? Yeah, look, for whatever it's worth, because we're a year and a half out, it shows a numeric advantage for Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis, by the way, uh, in either either of them running against Joe Biden. Almost exactly the same, about eight points when you press people to choose their, their the candidate that they'd select in a two-way race. Uh, that tells you that it's a lot more about Joe Biden than it is about any of the Republicans at this point, the fact that Biden's number remains the same. Uh, and it is rather jarring to see that because, of course, Joe Biden defeated Donald Trump in the Electoral College and uh, in the popular vote. And the conventional wisdom across Democrats as well as many Republicans is that Whatever you say about Joe Biden, he's the one guy who beat Trump before and he can do it again. So you take that away from him and the argument for his candidacy starts to collapse in on itself. And I think that has some Democrats starting to ask the question about what they're walking into with nominating Joe Biden as appears almost certain to be happening for their party. Jarring for the DNC, and I'll throw another 18 number at you. You said 18 months to go and 18 percent of the people in this poll said that they would still vote for Donald Trump even if he's criminally indicted. It's actually different. It's actually more striking than that. They say that he should be indicted. People that think he should be indicted, one in five, 18 percent, say they'd vote for him anyway against Biden. Now, do you believe that if, if the reality is an indictment, if there are criminal charges uh, between now and, and the election day? Who knows? Maybe there are people who are just venting their frustration against Joe Biden right now. But it's really a striking statistic when you think about the facts that, that lays out. People that think he should be uh, in jail or at least criminally charged also saying they think he'd be a better president going forward than Biden. Meanwhile, Biden has a job to do. Obviously, he's the president, and this week he's uh, getting his talks underway with House Speaker uh, Kevin McCarthy when it comes to the debt ceiling, which is looming in the background of all of this. Uh, where are, do those talks stand right now, and does this look like it's going to get pushed right up to the deadline? Well, they basically haven't happened yet. They'll start, uh, they're just beginning. Uh, and to know that the, the two sides have taken this much time and are going right up until the June deadline without an agreement in place. In fact, they've really disagreed fundamentally about whether there's should be talks at all. Biden saying he says the debt ceiling has never been uh, put with preconditions on it. This is just paying for bills that have already been racked up. And Kevin McCarthy saying you're not getting anything without some major spending concessions. So how they get separated out, how it gets uh, a, a very delicate balance. We've never defaulted on debt in the history of this country. Uh, if it happens, though, uh, you know, I think people are going to have to brace for that possibility, at least, because right now we, we haven't even seen talking past each other when they're not talking at all. Yeah. yeah and the stakes are high for everyone, the American people, the Democrats. Democrats and the Republicans. Rick Klein, thank you so much for your insight as always. Still to come on Full Circle Florida, why are black mothers dying while giving birth? Our team examining what's driving the troubling trend.